Welcome to QuestInfo.co.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode will be looking at making a favicon uh, for your website uh, to add a little bit of sparkle uh, and using a freeway action to enable you to do this simply. The first thing a favicon is these little icons that appear at the top of your uh, browser and to do that we need to make a .ico file and I go to this uh, generator program because you can't do this inside Photoshop uh, and I go to favicon.cc which is a, a good one and you, cast, you can make yourself an account and you can store all your favicons uh, there uh, or you can use other people's if you want to. To make your own the first thing to do is to make your file in Photoshop that you want and then choose uh, the file that you want uh, to work with and I've got this red dot I'm just going to make a little red dot uh, for it and upload that to the site and then you can see what it will look like so favicon doesn't use many pixels I can redraw in a few more uh, if I want to uh, like so uh, and then when you're happy with it you just scroll down and go to download favicon and it will download it uh, to your computer now and that's it it will look like that with a red dot so I've got this uh, on the desktop so uh, all I need to do is to uh, move that into my site folder so I've got it uh, in there and all, then I need to work on the favicon action you do need to download the action from freeway so go to uh, action uh, websites and type in favicon uh, and you'll be able to download and install the action it is a page action uh, you can apply it to a master page to every page you want and here it is favicon uh, site that I've got here and if you look at the action all you need to do is to specify the file that it is you want to work on so it's in my demo site and that is the file there that I want to use so I just open that like that save the file and then preview it in a browser so let's go along and we'll open it up in there and then up it will come and now I have a little red dot in my uh, file which appears on everything and it just makes the website look a little bit more funky and professional so very simple to do you do need to generate the file first and then you just need to uh, implement it onto each page. Do do it on a master page so it applies through the whole site rather than on each individual page but you could have a different one on each page if you were so inclined to do. So this is chrislinfordco.uk uh, you can find me on my website or you can find me uh, on iTunes or you can find me on YouTube.